Hey friends, Vinyl Community, Wes here. I'm here to answer Luke uh, Vinyl Flesh's thread uh, about nature covers, nature albums. Um, I stuck to mostly just uh, covers that made me think of nature and um, thought I would do this, go ahead and do this outside uh, to get a little bit of a soundtrack out here. There's a nice breeze and the birds are chirping and it's not too hot yet, so I thought I would just uh, sit out here on the back patio and uh, share a few records with you. So let's go ahead and get into it. I got a nice little stack here I found. Uh, first one we have here is Joan Baez's Five. Just sort of up on the side of a side of a mountain there, pretty high up. There's not very much uh, not very much ve vegetation or anything. I thought that was a really cool cover. Next one I've seen several people show already, so I don't need to show too much of it, but it's uh, Bon Iver's self-titled, second album. Very, uh, very much uh, nature sort of inspired. Very pretty. Uh, next one I have here is a very common one you see, but it's I think it's very natural. It's uh, John Denver's greatest Okay, the next one is Fleet Foxes, the uh, Helplessness Blues. This is the 12 inch single that was Record Store Day last year. This was my one Record Store Day purchase from last year. Um, nice sort of snow, snow capped mountains there. Very cool cover. Next up we have David Gilmore, self-titled, it makes me think of nature sort of a, maybe like a, a cabin sort of out in the, out in the plains somewhere maybe, I don't know, made me think of nature. Next up we have the Best of the Guess Who Volume 2, sort of under a trestle there. Um, but it looks like it's out in the out in the woods somewhere, just crossing crossing a, a creek or a river somewhere. Um, actually, volume one also is is sort of taken in the same place, but it's a lot darker. So this one shows up a little better than the than the uh, the first one. It's kind of just their their shadows in reflection on the back. Uh, next up is a, is a psych record that Derek turned me on to last year. Um, this is Fillmore Lincoln's North Wind Blue South. This is a reissue from, I believe, 2009 is when it was reissued. 2008, 2009. Um, kind of a psych, light psych rock, psych pop. It's not, it's not bubblegummy at all. It's, but it's not hardcore rock either. It's, it's, it's got a nice light sound to it. Um, but yeah, definitely check this one out. This is, this is probably something you haven't heard of yet. Um, but give that a try. Fillmore Lincoln, North Wind Blue South. Uh, next up, this one's very sort of Pacific Northwest looking to me. Uh, this is Cat Stevens' Back to Earth. Very cool cover there. The back, is, back has even more uh, sort of white water going on there, so I thought that was a really cool one. Next up we have the Stylistics. They're sort of just sitting out in a field somewhere, enjoying nature. So I thought that was a very cool. Uh, this is one you showed, which happens to be a favorite of mine. It's it's the Ten Years After a Space in Time. Great album. Um, yeah, they're, just, they're sitting out enjoying nature as well. This next one is one I haven't shown in a while, but I thought I would show it. This is a uh, Tanya Tucker self-titled. 
is actually her fourth album, but she's just sort of getting ready to go on a go on a horseback ride or something like that. Just enjoying the outdoors. All right, next we got "Stand by Me" soundtrack. Definitely uh, very outdoorsy. You know, it reminds me of being a kid and sort of we would go out into the woods and build forts and have all kinds of fun and do kid stuff. So it's definitely it reminds me of nature. And the last thing we have here is the Stephen Foster Curlin. This just reminds me of nature because of the park it's at. It's at it's at Stephen Foster State Park in White Springs, which is where I was just at uh, two weeks ago for the Florida Folk Festival. And it's a very beautiful park. Uh, the Swanee River runs right through it, and it's just a very pretty place. And so this this album reminds me of that place. Um, and yeah, so. Those are just some I had to share for the uh, nature thread. Great idea for a thread. Um, I really enjoyed it, and um, I, I too enjoy uh, just going out and going hiking or uh, kayaking or whatever, whatever I can outside. We're sort of getting into that time period here in Florida where it's it's too hot to do much of anything unless you're going swimming. So. It's kind of a go swimming kind of time now. It's it's almost it's too hot to go hiking or anything else. But it's kind of disappointing. But um, I do enjoy doing hiking and other stuff, sort of in the spring and the fall. So yeah, that, that's uh, that's what I had to share with you guys today. I thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned, and we'll see you real soon. Cheers.